Okay, sorry to put this in here instead of like a preview of what's actually coming, but I was so excited for this show and this first episode and then all the technical difficulties befell me. So this is gonna be a very patchwork reaction. I hope you guys will still enjoy it. I'm really sorry. And unfortunately the audio for a big majority of this video is just not it. I tried to make it as bearable as possible. And I really just wanted to still put this reaction up because I want to be able to potentially continue the rest of the series if you guys are interested. So sorry about that. Hope you guys will still enjoy. Hi guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm reacting to episode one of the live action version of Link Click. I did a first impressions of the animation and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was beautifully emotional, really gripping. But unfortunately, I didn't get enough views on it. That is my bad because I did react to it way after it aired and I think it just wasn't the right time. I hadn't like continued with the show because I always hoped I would have a reason to go back to doing reactions for it. But because of that, I'm going into this more or less completely unprepared. I just know of the first episode, which I'm assuming is going to be equivalent to this one's first episode. And yeah, I also want to warn you guys that I'm working with subtitles that aren't auto-translates but it's coming from like a fan sub so I'm not sure what the quality will be. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty decent because usually fan subs have a lot of effort put into them but we'll see. I hope it's okay. I hope you guys will enjoy it and before we do get into it, I just want to say a quick and thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members if you're interested in joining other of those for uncut and exclusive reactions, links will be in the description below, along with my social media and my peer box. And if you want to subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. Quick warning as well, this is a once-off. If it does well, we will be continuing. If not, I'm just going to be enjoying the show on my own. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Is that when you were born? Okay. This is interesting because we didn't get this kind of a lowdown with the anime that I remember. I appreciate the hairstyle because that is quite reminiscent of the Dongles. Oh my word. It's so interesting to see him in this kind of a character. It's not completely dissimilar to his other characters that I've seen him in as, but. Mm. You better hope you're not about to be mugged. You just have to hit him with a dead fish? Literally? It looks almost comical. Oh, the introduction of our other main. There you go. Oh, wow, they're just leaving you guys. We didn't get how they met in the first episode of the Donghua, so I'm really intrigued about those. Wow, they really like push that scooter to his limits. Why is he giving such extra vibes?
It's like I have found my platonic soulmate. Interesting, we're getting a lot more info here than we did with the anime, which makes sense because I have more time to spend on it. Is that your quote unquote hero? That was a good, like, a smash card. Oh no, I just recognized him. No. Oh, it's the, like, cop from Under the Skin who I actually really like as a character that was playing a bad guy. Oh, great. <laughs> He's so hero like everything around him just turns mystical. That's a really neat setup you guys have there. Oh, he's trying to figure out if he's in, in the business, whatever this business is called. He does look a little bit stiff right now. Yeah, I don't think he needs it. Is he just a leader? I mean, you didn't seem to mind outing that fact to a lot of people. Okay, I mean, well, that's one way to approach it. And you're the one. I have a to you. i Huh? You could just close up shop. Okay, so one of them clearly has uh, some money to throw around. Damn! You're very rude. He doesn't seem like the kind of person who has a lot of secrets though. Like not him. Um, <laughs> okay, so I can't remember how the like magic system of the Donghua works so I'm having to kind of relearn everything here but if I'm not misunderstanding it seems like they need photos in order to jump back into the past or whatever which then would make it make sense why he's so keen on deleting his own photos <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the turn you had a few minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Why do you feel like he's lying about that? Interesting. <laughs> oh my word. That was such epic and editing. This is going to be very interesting. Oh my word. I'm so happy because, again, we didn't get to see this in the first episode of the Donghua, and I love, like, origin moments. <laughs> My goodness, dude. How do you want to sit down? Not what good. You said that now. Hm. How is that? So, you can see the same thing. Interesting. Question Would it be possible for you guys to switch roles? I mean, don't actually give me an answer oh, if it's a spoiler, but it's an interesting thought. Yeah. Oh. I remember that. That's why you needed to know if you could ride a bike. Okay. Yeah, I, like I'm actually impressed by how much research he would have had to do to pull this off. I mean, that's kind of a compliment in a weird way. Because it doesn't seem very safe, but okay. Seems to be a long way that he needs to drive. This ah! Wow. <laughs> Okay. Do you want to be in a body that's about to bomb a building? That's a beautiful elevator door, damn. I appreciate the cinematography. Don't say anything, please don't say anything. Don't say anything, please don't say anything. He looks like he's itching to say something. Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know if that was the best thing to say. Oh my word, dude. How rude are you? Yeah, but you're definitely going to drive your company to the ground if you're not careful. He seems to be very able to, like, um, separate logic from emotion. So it's kind of good that he's there and also hearing everything. Yeah? 
Um, that doesn't sound very good. That doesn't sound like something you'd be capable of. We have the end of the episode already? Okay, so that is the first episode. I think the subtitles seemed good to me. Like, I think whoever did it did a really good job. And damn, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised because with regards to uh, Cheng Shao Shi, is that his name? But our, our main character, I feel like... Like, when I saw who the actor was who was playing him and kind of just looked at the poster, it didn't quite match the feel of what I remember how the main character was in the first episode of the Donghua. But seeing it now, like seeing the way that the actor decided to portray it, I feel like it works. Like, I'm pretty happy with how he portrayed it. He doesn't feel too, like humorous or slapstick or anything like that i think he he managed to strike a good balance there and then seeing the other one whose name i now can't remember guang something but like seeing him i think he was really well cast he seems from what i remember to to be pretty accurate to the donghua but it is very interesting because from the first episode of the donghua it really felt as if they already knew each other, they kind of knew their quirks and were just a very well-oiled machine at this point. So seeing where they started is a, is quite different and I really enjoyed it. I was a bit surprised that he seemed so able to anticipate Cheng Shaoshi's potential actions and like how his emotions might affect what he does. So I, I would be up for them messing that up a little bit because they're a brand new team. So I feel like hiccups should be natural, but it was just very interesting. This does seem to be a different case than what we had in the first episode, which I also appreciate because that means I have no idea what's going to happen. And yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. And otherwise, hopefully I'll see you in episode two. Zai